Hello, this is Death Rider, and this is the point in this Final Fantasy playthrough, like all the other Final Fantasy playthroughs that I did, where I did my grinding, my heavy end game, I guess. I don't really know how close I am to the end of the game. Like, I, like this is episode 32, technically. I don't know if we're going to hit 40. I don't know if we're going to get to 50 or 60. Probably not 60, but I don't know. Uh, so, now, what I did, I did because it was a time-sensitive thing. So in all the other Final Fantasies I've played, 1, 2, 4, and 12, I got all of my characters up to max HP. Well, in 12, it's a bit more dicey. You can't really get everyone to max HP just because of the nature of the job system. But anyway, you guys get what I'm saying. And I followed a guide that I will link in the description. It's a fantastic guide, extremely thorough um, on just everything about this game. I don't. I think it's specifically for PSP. I'm not entirely sure. Actually, all I know is the information I extracted from it was it, it worked for me. So it, it you know. Uh, so now, notice how our levels are 97, 97, 99, 81. So obviously, I didn't get the Rufia yet. Um, I didn't want to get to level 99. Mike, and you can see that with how Luna's, uh, Lunith and Ingus are 97, Arc is 99, I'll explain that in a second. Also, my FPS in the upper right, I'm leaving up, that's not an accident, I left it up on purpose. So yeah, the goal was to get everyone to max HP, because in the re- Well, it's a time-sensitive thing because it relies, whether you get to max HP is reliant on vitality. You can see Lunith, Ingus, and Arc for some reason has, well, I mean, he has two levels higher, I guess. Um, they have 99, 97, 97 vitality. Notice how Refi only has 81 at level 81 and job level eight, eight, uh, 90 instead of 99, 99, 99. The only way that, and I might even flash some images on screen, but basically in that guide, there's kind of a road mapping situation where it shows level to HP values. And there's essentially, long story short, there's a minimum HP you have to have in this game for when you start grinding as black belts to actually be able to hit max HP. Like, black, first of all, black belts, the only physical way to reach max HP in this game. Like, there's no other job that you can do it with. And, of course, it's an endgame job. Uh, well, it's from the final crystal, so yeah, I guess endgame job. Um... So actually, some people will almost do what I do in Final Fantasy 1, almost for kind of the same reason. It, it kind of. In Final Fantasy 1, I try to get to Bahamut for the class upgrade as soon as possible, leveling as little as possible. If you see both my Final Fantasy 1 playthroughs, you'll see I did... Well, actually, no, I'm out of balance, I didn't do that. The normal Final Fantasy 1 playthrough, I did that. I, only got, I got there at like level 21 or something. Because what that does is, the sooner you get the class upgrade in that game the sooner you start getting benefits from that class. So, like, your Knight Ninja, for instance, get MP much sooner. As opposed to if you're, like, level 40, then you only have 50 levels. If you get there at level 20, you have 70 levels. Big difference. Not that it really matters in, in that case, but whatever, that's beside the point. Um, so, in this, in this game, I got kind of lucky. You will see in the last episode, what were we even? I think we were level 41? 51? I, I might flash an image on the screen. I don't remember. I don't even remember what level we were at the end of the last episode. But basically, I found that guide, and I think it's like level 51. It, like most people on the internet advise that when you start doing your max HP grind, you start doing it at the latest of the 50s. Or no, I think I might have been upper 40s now that I recall. Uh, and of course, I was upper 40s, so it kind of worked out. And then of course, Luna Deningus had jobs that had generally high vitality. Um, you know, like, the tanks generally have higher vitality, such as Warrior, Knight, Viking. I don't know about Dragoon and Dark Knight. I think they're, they're higher, but not higher than, you know, the actual tanky tanks. And, of course, Ark and Rufia were always mage-like classes, so they generally had less HP. Even though it was all within, like, two or three hundred, it was still less, which does make a difference. Um, so anyway, as you can see that we got, ev I have everyone as black belts, um... And three of us do have max HP, and, and actually you can kind of see the difference here, where Lunith and Ingus have max HP at 97. Well, Ark needed to hit it at 99, well he hit it at 99, I got kind of lucky there, I was hoping he wouldn't be like 9998 or something. And you can see that, well, they hit, these, oh, whoops, um, Lunith and Ingus hit it earlier because of their 
generally more HP. Now, I did, following the roadmap, all four of us should indeed hit 9999. 9999, yes. So Refia should hit it at level 81. She should have, I don't even, I don't know how much it is, but I know that we all, like for the first 20 levels, we were actually a little bit behind by like 100, but at, at, around like level 75, 80, everyone was like one to 300 over. Lunith was like 400 over at some point. Uh, but anyway, uh, so everyone on the internet generally says it takes about 12 hours to do this. Uh, of course, a lot of situations vary. When you start grinding, how what jobs you had prior to the grinding. There's also apparently three major points of grinding in this game. There's in the Crystal Tower, uh, this Bahamut Cave, and then in this in the Eureka place, I guess. Uh, so now I will probably show a clip at some point. I don't know if I showed it already. If I'm gonna show it, but I did go into the tower, which is where I'm doing my grinding, and that's why I went in there is because that's one of the three key points of grinding, and the other two places require me to go much deeper into things. And I don't like doing that off screen if I can help it. Uh, in fact, actually, there was a door transition that I did record simply because I don't want to miss that out in, in the Let's Play. But anyway, um, so yeah, uh, I guess I will show the strategy. Uh, so yeah, let's go in. And now you may wonder why I'm showing the FPS. Notice how when I toggle it, it caps. it's supposed to cap out at 140. I chose that value specifically. 140. Oh, so by the way, like always, I didn't open any treasure. There's a lot of treasure here, and I ca I'm kind of sad because I wonder if there's any good stuff for this job. Uh, I don't really have much. This is the best I had, and I don't even have enough to put it on everyone else. Not that it matters when you're at 9999 in this place, but, you know, it, it was kind of sad. In fact, actually, let me go ahead and do this because I'm going to be working on her next. Yeah, and the claws, I definitely learned that the claws were not as effective. Notice how she has... Well, actually, let's go to one of these guys. 396. Uh... Yeah. It's not... Like, it's just over halfway. So, we've been going full, full bare-handed work significantly better so uh yeah and, and of course me being on emulator now if i played this on my ds i'd be crying because this probably would have taken at least 12 hours i'm very happy i didn't do that and i'm on emulator no stop it so basically you start this uh this ooh, nice clone. you start this uh this grinding strategy the the quickest way at least and this would apply even if you're on ds or mobile or whatever you kill everyone but one so we're going to commit some uh, some casual suicide over here. Let me speed this up. They will one-shot each other. So interestingly, I found out <clears throat> 9999 is not max damage. And I can prove that in the fact that uh, enemies like this guy right here that we're fighting, Une Clone, does not have less than 9999. And yes, she dies. 9999 is just simply the max value that's displayed. And with the enemies I've encountered... My guys were doing at least 19,000 per hit, despite only looking like 10,000, or 9999. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Now, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Didn't I just kind of break the game now that all four of us have max, like, absurdly high damage characters at max health? So, I... I'm just going to turn this on. I will not be... Bla I don't think I'm going to let anyone be a black belt after this, because... Oh, whoops. I just do this because then I it's consistent. I don't want anyone to... Be, I may have one person be a black belt. Because the thing is, once I choose our final jobs... And I, I already kind of have. I, I still don't really know what I'm doing for Ingus and Lunith. But I am going to have Ark be a Magus and Refia a Devout. You know, black and white mate. Wizard, essentially, is a good way to compare it. Ingus and Lunith, not entirely sure. I need to do more research because I like... I want them both to be able to do damage but also both be slightly tanky, one more than the other. Um, Vikings, I, I've, I've debated about, like, a paladin, but I found, if I recall correctly, paladins didn't do that, like, Lunath as a paladin didn't really do that much damage. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna race there. Um, but I certainly do like Ingus as a dragoon. So I'm thinking I might leave him as a Dragoon, but there's also ninjas. One of the jobs we got at the last crystal was a ninja, and I'm kind of interested in that. From what I've read about ninjas, it's it's kind of kind of interesting. They apparently can use most weapons, which is kind of cool. I don't know. I haven't fully decided. But yeah, so as you've probably noticed, I didn't grab any chests in here. 
Um, actually, I selected the wrong person. See, I have no idea what's in these chests. And it's actually going to be kind of hard to go back to normal gameplay when I've been speeding things up like crazy. Um, oh, yeah, we're also at max skill. And you can kind of see right here, uh, within the last couple of days I've been doing this. Yeah, it's funny. 51, fi oh, well, there's your answer right there, or my answer. 51, 51, 51, 51, 97, 99, 97, 81. Yeah, cool. Um, so I am going to show how to do this. Uh, in previous Final Fantasies, I pretty much just cut it out for the most part. And I do save state. You'll see why in a little bit. And I do want to make it very clear that nothing I'm doing can't be done normally. Granted, it's a lot faster because, you know, I'm literally playing at over four times the speed right now. Here we are. We immediately found it. So these blocks here, they they like to summon uh, cum-cums, which have relatively high XP, but that's not specifically why. Yeah, these guys summon them. And um, I've, I've kind of gathered, I think it's like a 50% chance that they'll summon it, so it can get pretty frustrating. Um, I guess I'll go kind of slow to start, all right, hold on. I guess I'll go kind of slow to start off what's, start off with what's going on here. See, it's, it's just a lot of uh, summon cycling and each of these do give XP. That's how it's happening. In fact, um, the most XP I've gotten in one battle was with uh, Ark. He was level 81. I got him to 99 in two battles. Granted, each battle took like 30 minutes, but each of them I had like 3 million XP. So like this is a situation where um, I'll either guard or use a high potion. So black belts have no magic, no no way of healing other than high potions. I'm sure there's other items. I mean, obviously potions, but high potions you can buy in the invincible, I think it's called. So it's, yeah. And when, you know, when you have 10 million gil or whatever it is, it's not a big deal. So basically the way i've done this i stay in one battle until my reserve of high potions is gone and my hp is at about 3000 uh, just to maximize my time doing this so like here i can do this so she'll drop a high potion heal either attack or summon and uh, i don't use auto battle just because 140 fps and auto battle it goes haywire and i you, i actually game over once on accident because if you don't kill these cum cums, they will hit you with some pretty heavy spells. And if you're already pretty low on HP, well, goodbye. And that's why I... Well, okay, I'll... the reason I save state is because I don't want to go through a long series in this battle. And then, like, accidentally kill uh, the... What is it called? The Bluck? So I'll, like, reload my save. But again, I just want to stress that this... I wouldn't ever do anything in here that I couldn't do on a normal game console that doesn't that does any more than just like um at extra time you know like save stating obviously i don't need to save state if i didn't save state i would just need to find another battle and then restart you know it's no big deal um i mainly do it for convenience uh convenience for you guys convenience for myself and editing um because when i'm playing these games i like to get through them i don't like you guys have probably for those of you that have played these games, you know what the inconveniences are, and you may want to see players go through it, but you may also want to see players get through the games, which is my goal. Also, my mic stand is not playing nice right now. Uh, so yeah, so that's the entire cycle. Now, you may be wondering, how did this only take 30 minutes? Well, this is how. So I basically did this, and then I do quick auto battles. It's less key presses. Okay, he attacks, so guard. He did that, do that. And you are literally seeing what I've done for probably the last five-ish, four... Because I didn't figure out the strategy right away. I didn't get this from anyone. I just found figured this out for myself. Um, I probably have spent about five, five-ish hours doing this. Yes, very time-consuming, probably very unnecessary. But hey, everyone's, everyone's going to be at max health. So um, I will record this whole session... However, obviously, I'm not going to have you guys watch it because I I just want to say I'm not a person that falls asleep easy. I had very boring classes in college, and I still did not fall asleep. I almost fell asleep numerous times doing this because each of these battles, until I go down below or, like, run out of eye potions, it can be 30 minutes. So, um... Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to mention. This is basically the whole sequence. Uh, and yeah, the cum-cums, actually, if, if 
we were only really doing 10,000 damage, they still would die, because I think they only have like 96 HP. One of the Moogles in the Invincible ha is the Beastieria, so I was able to check out the HP. That's how I found out that <clears throat> that's how I found out we were doing more than 10k each hit sometimes. So yes, the music right now sounds absolutely god awful. So I'm not gonna have you guys sit here and watch this any longer. Uh, I'll see you guys. This so this video is just gonna be this. That, that's it. This isn't gonna be a full episode. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys once Riffia over here is at na 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 na. And that is game over. What do we get? Oh, 700,000 gil? 1.935 million XP. Now, just to put that in perspective, each level is about 200,000. So right here, we have almost 10 levels. So Refia was 81. She's going to be, I think, 90. She should be about 90. Now, obviously, your XP increases as you level up. Uh, yeah, it only says gains a level. Yeah, well, should have said gain levels. Um, Shellbreaker. Yeah, we get some items. So she was 81. She is now 80, 89. Okay, maybe it's a bit more than I said. But, I mean, either way, like, not only did we gain eight levels in one battle, but we did it in the 80s. And uh, if you compare her stats before to now, well, first of all, her job level is 92. Well, she only gained two levels, so that's not as crazy. But her vitality is now 96. Yeah, that is fantastic. Um, and also note her HP. I think that went up like 1,500. Or yeah, 1,500 uh, HP. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to end. Well, let's, let's save here. And let's just do this. If you, oh, I was going to say, if he keeps summoning, I would allow it. Well, let's see. Well, there it is right there. That was over a million. That did it. 97. That was my prediction. It would take up to 97. Well, that's it. All four of us are at max HP. And I, I'm pretty sure Ark wouldn't have... It, it is interesting, though, that... I was making a point earlier in this video that... Ingus and Luna didn't need to get to 99 to max out, but Refia and Ark would have. I guess that was an incorrect prediction. The thing is, look at that guide I posted. Um, that guide I posted. Uh, oh wait. Oh, I was out of potions. Oh, I thought I still had some left. Anyway, um, in the guide that I was watching uh, or uh, reading, said that uh, it's it's based on vitality, but it's also based on like some aspect of luck um and like and that aspect of luck will apply like a bonus like you'll get you'll get the flat amount you get with your level and your vitality sure but then you'll also get a bonus which is a percentage of i guess the total amount that you're like if you were originally set to get 150 hp then you'd get a bonus that's maybe like 15 percent of that 100 150 hp or something i don't know what it is i'm just throwing numbers out there to explain this and i guess all of us just got insanely lucky because i guess i don't think any of us needed to be 99 but yet yeah, there it is right there ah uh. Well, let's quickly take this invincible back over to the nearest town to revive everyone. That'll be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you found this informative. This isn't technically an official episode of the Let's Play, although it kind of is. In fact, yeah, it is. I don't know why I said it isn't. Um, yeah, I hope you found this informative. If you have any questions, feel free to ask down in the comments. I will leave a link to that tutorial. Um... I will leave a link to that tutorial in the description. I believe it's a Neo Seeker one. I'm not entirely sure. It's, it's one of those. Uh, and yeah, so I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.